Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining in. I'm Dr. Matthew Harb, a hip and knee replacement surgeon. And today we're going to talk about the setup for a knee replacement operation. I'm going to show you some live footage from the operating room. And with that, let's get started. So what you're going to see here is actually my physician assistant. Her name is Kelly and she's starting the initial prep on the leg. The biggest thing whenever we do a knee replacement operation is to avoid infection. So I do many things before my procedures to do that. One, I give them IV antibiotics on the day of surgery. I also have them clean their nose, which can have staph in it. I have them use a special scrub called a Hibiclen scrub, and that will also get rid of the bacteria off the knee. Post-operatively, I'm also gonna give antibiotics and before we start the procedure, we're gonna clean the leg. I use alcohol, I use Avogard, and I use Chloroprep to completely clean the leg so there's no bacteria and no risk of an infection. Next, we're gonna look at the back table. You can see the scrub tech here has set up the back table very nicely. This is at my surgery center. The infection rate at my surgery center is about 75% lower than at the hospital. Everything is very, very clean, and this environment helps us control to prevent dirty cases like colon cases or infection cases going before someone has a knee replacement operation. We want the back table to be set up in a manner that allows us to perform the operation in a smooth, efficient manner. If you have a scrub tech who you work with a lot, this can be very, very helpful. Next, you'll see me coming in. They're gonna gown you can see they're putting on the hood. This hood is a ventilation suit. This ventilation suit prevents blood and bone from actually getting into my eyes and the gown is a sterile barrier. You can see I have my hood on. This is an exhaust hood. This helps to keep me cool, prevent the hood from fogging up, and following that, I'll put on my gloves. Initially, I do something called a triple glove, meaning I put on three sets of gloves. The reason that I do this is because I can actually take that last set off after I prep and drape. And this is one more level of precaution to prevent any infections. You can see the back of my gown is unsterile and below the waist and above the neck is also unsterile so it's okay for the rep to close the back of my gown like that here i'm putting on the triple gloves the green glove underneath this is called an indicator glove i use this to see if i have any perforations in my glove it will show up very very nicely after this we're going to make sure everything's set up properly and then we're going to finish doing the draping process so draping is putting a series of drapes down one if anything penetrates through the drape we can easily prevent uh, any contamination and get rid of whatever item that is but we don't want it to go all the way through to the table here you can see my drill cutting jig my trial components there is a lot of setup for getting ready for a joint replacement surgery there's a lot of people involved there's a lot of equipment there's almost like seven or eight people who are in the room who are continuously helping you. You can see on the TV in the back, I actually have the x-rays up. You can see in the back, they're putting the final prep touches on the leg and foot. We use about three chloropreps. This makes sure that it is entirely clean. And then my assistants are gonna scrub in so that they can help me drape. Once again, the rep in the back is gonna help tie everyone up. We all assist each other as a team in the operating room. We'll wait for the chloroprep to dry. Once the chloroprep has dried, then we'll begin the draping process. And usually with the draping process, we start with a down sheet, followed by up sheets, and then we'll do different sticky drapes to basically close everything in. We don't want this leg exposed to bacteria or the outside world. That's gonna help lower the infection risk. And that's another reason why at the surgery center, the infection risk is almost four times lower than procedures that are done in a hospital setting. And you can see here, this is the first drape going down. You wanna be very cautious of how you put the drapes down. You wanna make sure you're not contaminating your gloves, but you can see this is a little bit um, you know how there could be contamination and why I make sure to take off that first set of gloves before I actually start the procedure. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll try and give you more insight into what goes on in the operating room setting. I'm Dr. Matthew Harb. I love doing orthopedic surgery. Thanks for tuning in.